Now we go back to Neanderthal times. I said there were two signs of the beginning of mythological uh, experience of thinking. First was human burial. The second is worship of cave bear skulls. In the high Alps of Switzerland and uh, Silesia, there have been found half a dozen small cave chapels in which there are cave bear uh, skull caches, hiding places where cave bear skulls have been kept. Some of them have rings of stone around them. Other ones, like this one, has the long bone of the bear in the bear's mouth as though the bear were eating its own flesh. Others have the long bones poked through the eyes, fear of the uh, evil eye, apparently. But just as the human being who has died is still there, so is the animal who has been killed still there. And we have to take care of revenge, malice, and so forth. Now, the typical uh, system of belief among hunting people who are killing and eating animals all the time and do not feel, as we do, that the animal is a lower form of life. The animal is an equivalent form in another aspect and uh, is revered, is respected, and yet killed. The basic mythic theme of hunting cultures is the animal is a willing sacrifice, comes willingly to be killed. You can find this in the myths all over the place. But comes with the understanding that will be killed with gratitude, that a ceremonial will be conducted to return its life to the mother source for rebirth, so that it will come again next year. And then there is the idea of a specific animal that is the, you might say, alpha animal to whom the prayers and worship are addressed that are to concern the entire animal community. As though there were a covenant between the animal and the human communities honoring the mystery of nature, which is life lives by killing. No other way. And it is the one life in two manifestations that is living this way, by killing and eating itself. And so perhaps already in this figure of the cave bear skull consuming its own flesh, we have that image of what life is, is I think, is the prime image. Now, we don't kill the animals we eat. We have butchers who do that. And the food comes all nicely packed, particularly in the uh, shopping centers. And uh, you see people throwing this one around that. Oh, I'll take this and put it. Um, it's a different attitude. These people thank the animal for having given itself. We thank our notion of divinity for having given us this meal. It's a totally different psychology, a totally different mythology. The prime one is this, of life in its various manifestations consuming itself. Now in Japan, in northern Japan, in Hokkaido, there remain a race of people that are Caucasoid, not Mongoloid. And these are known as the Ainu, A-I-N-U. And their principal cult is a bear cult. And here we have an Ainu shrine, and there is a bear skull. This is today. This is 40 to 60,000 years later than the forms that I've been showing you. The conservatism of primitive man is basic. To change a form, even of a tool, is to lose its power. And so you have here a cult from 60,000 BC still in northern Japan among the Ainu people. There is a sanctuary of black bear skulls of the Ainu, the counterpart of the caves that I showed you from 60,000 years ago. Now this idea, the animal master is basic, the covenant of the animals, the notion of the physical as being secondary to the spiritual life energy, 
a ritual of thanks and of returning the energy to its source for another visit.